Hi guys, this is Scorchstorm here, and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, we will be playing on Spore on the World of Gala. And I have a guest with me this video. The Blade name here, guys. And we'll be once again playing on our little Spore world in our corner of the galaxy. In this video, I'm hoping that we can once again try to go to the center of the galaxy, past the infamous Grox. And in the last video, we were able to find a wormhole that got kind of close. Wormhole. So we're going to go try visiting that wormhole now. Or where's it, the wormhole again? Well, it's... I think this might be it. No, I think, I think it was further. Well, <laughs> I guess in this video, most of what we're going to be trying to do is just popping through wormhole, see if we can get close to the center of the galaxy. There was one wormhole that was kind of close, but it, it was... We couldn't get any planets from it, so we kind of just stuck. Yeah, I was really close to the center. Where's Where this one? Oh, nice. Woo. Okay, now the biggest problem we have in this is the Grox. We're getting close. As we get closer to the center of the galaxy, we get... I think yeah. this... Yep, yeah, that's the Grox. Run! Holy shoot! So the Grox are pretty much the master... Oh, I don't want to say master race, but the most powerful nation sort of a thing, the most powerful empire, and they are very protective of the center of the galaxy, but our homeworld gala has given us a mission to go right past them, or fight them somehow to get to the center of the galaxy, so I don't know, we're going to have to find a way around that. Well, Spore is, a, for those of you who don't really know what Spore is, Spore is a game that you start as a tiny little cell and grow up to be a very big creature, Betty. piloting a spaceship of your own. And as you can see here, with my spaceship, I've set up this empire. I'm all the green planets. And we've green. grown to quite a big size. But the latest mission, like I've said before, is to get to the center. So what we're going to try to do is just go pop through a bunch of wormholes, see if we can get close to the center. And maybe we can get a technology that allow us to get really close. You know, right? Because what happens when you get to the center is that our current the warp drive we have here to go from one star to another has a limited distance. The gravity the gets heavier. Yeah, in the center of the galaxy, because there's dense star clusters, it really confuses the drive, and you have to make it go a smaller distance, so that you don't just go off to one side or the other, or just some crazy direction. It is very, very extremely, very, very extremely difficult. So if we can get a technology that will allow us to go further in the center of the galaxy, then we can get around the Grox, or at least just go through less of them. Because there are wormholes in the pretty much the very center. But they're so uh, high up above the stars that we can't really one. get to them. That's the one I think that we couldn't find any planets here in the last video. So look, usually we can go that distance, but because it's the center of the galaxy, we can't really get anywhere near it. Oh, Grox! Ah! Well, I guess this is kind of close. I think this is probably the furthest into Grox Whoa. territory we've gotten. That middle of the galaxy is bright. But the problem is, you see how they have, like, the orange angry sign right there? If we start going into their territory, then we'll get the red face, which means they're at war with us. And we don't really want to be at Aren't war with the Grox. Aren't they already at war with us? No, they're angry with us, and they've said that they're going to contact us at one point, telling us to go kill someone, or, like, destroy some species. But we're not technically at war. But if we start flying through all their planets or fighting them or trying to get to the center, then we might be at war, which is what we don't want to be at. I murdered someone. But one of the nifty things I've got is these packs, which will allow me, this one will fix all of the ally ships around me. See, like that, and my ship. And this one will give me more energy. So we can go through the center of the galaxy. Like, we could technically make it right now, but then we'd be at war with the Grox, and we don't want to be at war with the Grox right now. You sure? I'm pretty sure. It'd be pretty fun! <gasps> hmm. Dying is fun, right? So, what I'm hoping is that we get to some species that has the technology to be able to go to the center of the galaxy. But if we don't really find a species that can go to the center, we're going to be stuck and not be able to get to the center or just have to go at war with the Groks. Wait, can you trade with someone that doesn't like you? 
No, you cannot. Aww. Wait, let me try this. Can you imagine if you bought stuff from the Grocks? Now that is a good spice deal right there. 20,000 for one. What was that, Kevin? I mean, Blade and Aid? Hi. Well, going through the Grocks would be kind of dangerous. dangerous. Like, we'd still have to hop planets. But we can't trade with them because they're angry at us. Okay. Well, let's see what's through this wormhole. Here we go. Through the wormhole! Da 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 da! Hi. <laughs> now, let's there see. We are through the awesome wormhole. Are we in the center? I don't think so. Whoa! Close. We've been here before. There are so many wormholes near the center of the galaxy. I know, right? It's just like it's a hub of stars and wormholes and stuff. Let's go through this one. No, don't do it. Whoa. What oh, what's that? that? Sightseer 2 badge. Nice. Maybe since we're closer to the center, this wormhole has a better chance of getting us really close. Let's Where see. Where in the world are we? Nope. Oh my gosh, that's close to my colonies over here. Now that's convenient. Now what else we can do is that if you find a wormhole that's kind of, that like takes us to some weird part of the galaxy, we could set up a colony there, and then we'd have more colonies in different parts of our galaxy. And so that would help our species somehow. Like if the Grox attack us, it'll be harder to attack everything. Get a good warp drive. Yeah, there might be some friendly species in the area with some technology. Okay, where are we? Oh. Um, once again, near the center, but not close enough. He is smack down in the middle. Maybe we should have another talk with the Grox, see if they'll let us get closer. Okay, I'm thinking this is a Grox planet. Yeah, it looks like it. Now, if we quickly go in before we fire too many shots. Let's see, Omnipotent has made a fatal error, and they are not happy with me, but let's see. I'm sorry, you're on alien. <laughs> Okay, let's see what they say to this. We decline to establishing a trade route. That would be nice if you could do this. Let's see, establish a gift. Trade route. Know about your race. Yeah, we've been through this before. All you can see in this is that they're very, very unhappy with us. And think that they're very, very... They're not very... Oh, hungry. we're at war. Oh, oh shoot. Run away! Well, I guess diplomacy doesn't work. Run! We're at war. Exterminate! I think, Exterminate! I think they stole that from Doctor Who. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we're at war. When you watch Doctor Who, one of our brothers used to call the garlic. <laughs> the Darlics the garlics. It's true. If you're a big Doctor Who. Now, you let's hope they don't about. exterminate us like the doctors. We Sorry if that spoils anyone. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa! <laughs> this is Stupid a YouTube video. Stupid echo! <laughs> Alexa. What can I add? This is Nothing. a YouTube video. You need to apologize to the <laughs> audience. Video added to your to -do list. Alexa, no, shut Alexa, up! Apologize to the YouTube audience. And shut up. I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Alexa, you interrupted the video. You need to apologize. You just had a but. You just angered 50,000 people who are watching this video. How about we ignore it? Alexa, what do you have to say for yourself? Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, guess what I got for Christmas? <laughs> Fat. I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Well, moving on with the video. Okay, where does this, that go? I'm hoping that we can go back to our home world since the garlic are. I mean, <laughs> 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 the rocks are going to be attacking. But I'm not receiving any transmissions yet. Maybe they just have an attack. Okay, where are we? Where Wait, are what we? happened to. There we go. I got the controls back. I thought the rocks might have made a virus. Ooh. We is way out there. How about we establish a colony here? Colony? It doesn't seem that the Grocks are attacking. Wouldn't be a terrible thing. Let's make a colony. 
So for those of you who don't know how to terraform, here's going to be a quick tutorial. Those of you who already know, skip the video if you want to. Do you still have all your ships? Did you lose any in the oh, battle? Oh, I lost one. What? We're very he sorry. He was so young. We lost a Cardassian Warbird. We are very sorry for the poor soul. Oh, yeah. And he was a great soldier, and he served the Empire well. Even though this is not Star Wars, may the Force be with him. <laughs> Live long and prosper. So what we've done is we've set a colony down to claim the planet, just so, just in case someone else tries to claim the planet, they can't. Not sure if they can actually do that while we're on the planet, but... Okay, and then the next thing is you see this green here with the clouds and temperature. Clouds. What you want is to get this in the very center with cloud cloud density, a little cloud density and temperature. Yeah. Because once you get it to this little dot, it's a T three dot, and that is exactly what you want for the planet. This is not too hot, not too cold, just the right amount of atmosphere, and you can get tons of colonies. You can get plants. What is life, it right now? Everything you want right now, since we're in the outside circle. It's a T0, oh. but once you get it here, it'll be a T1, then T2, and T3. That's nice. And the better you get it, the more plants you can have, the more colonies you can have, and the more spice you can get out of it. <gasps> so, let's get this ray up. <laughs> Heat rain the planet here, hope you guys don't mind. But all the germs and stuff in this are now dead. And let's make the clouds be less, and we can get this perfect. You know, I really love these tools and how they w look. Like, who would have thought a rainbow coming into the ship would symbolize clouds and lessening, little lessering the density? Lessening. But let's use one of our convenient charge Is packs that even there. A word? I think so, since Lesser. we're running low on energy. Let's suck in some clouds. Alexa. Is lessering a word? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Echo Dot? That's You're funny. useless. <laughs> there we are, we're running low on energy once again. But it looks like we can set up another colony soon. Now since we are a T1 planet and we've got to the first drain, we have a bunch of slots freed up now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a bunch of plants and animals to stabilize the T-score. Because yeah, although you is. could technically do a lot of stuff here on the planet since it's a T1. Yeah, you can. Since you don't have enough plants and animals to stabilize it, it'll eventually just go out to one of the sides there, and it won't be a T3 anymore. So you want to get down a bunch of plants as quickly as possible, and you can stabilize the T-score. See? Stabilize. So now that we have the plants down, you can get some animals down. And then once we have all of those down, we can get other stuff down. We can get, like, colonies and then place up defenses. Defenses. And then I'm hoping that if we have some aliens attack this place, that they won't be able to take the planet. So let's add an oh, omnivore, since we have red. two herbivores. It's turning so red build again. Up the herbivores. It's turning red? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, we've got the carnivore down, we have the yeah, two herbivores, and we now have the other slot free since it's there. Let's hurry up before it gets back to the T1, <laughs> and it stabilizes. Stabilizes. So we have the, there's a big tree, there's our little plant, and here's our tiny, tiny plant. Tiny plant. Tiny, tiny, tiny plant. Tiny. All plants and animals tiny are straight tiny. from Gala. Therefore, yeah. they'll be good plants. Yeah. And the whole like world bruh. doesn't give bruh. doesn't give black bad plants to anybody. Why? Why don't they give bad plants to anybody? Okay, guys, I'm going to skip the video now to when the planet's a T3, hey, and then bruh. we'll bring it all bruh. right back. Hi, right, guys, we're back. We have fully terraformed this planet, added yeah, we colonies have. and ships and tanks. As you can see here, a nice tank to put on the land. And if any of you are wondering, this is how I like to lay out my colonies. Optimal setting for full happiness. Yeah, he does. Lots of spice per hour and 120 people. Most spice you can get with these two things. But me, what me, I've me, noticed me. is that the Groks are attacking one of our colonies me, while we're me, me, making me, our planet me, better. 
me, me think we sh we we should hurry and go. Yeah, we're gonna have to hurry and go back to our planet before the Groks, huh? Destroy the planet. Wait, that means they destroyed it. Maybe. Or they just abandoned it. Well, they might have destroyed it. They might have taken it over, or they might have just—I don't know. Pie. They took a lunch break. But whatever it is, it definitely isn't good. Now let's use these recharge packs and then get back to our planet quickly. Okay, are we where I think we are? No. No, we're definitely not where I thought Whoa, we were. Oh, this portal looks kind of easy to get to the middle. I first want to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to check on the colony. And then we're going to go straight to the center of the galaxy. We're going to use that wormhole we found earlier. And then make a trek. And out of the video, I'm going to try getting my Cardassian ally back. Because he died. Because we can just get Star Wars stuff here. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking at this point, there's too many wormholes, and we're just going to... Uh, That's a lot of better just to trek back regularly. So we're going to go over all these stars, hopefully not... Going to anyone that's gonna attack us. And then. Oh my gosh. Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode. Not today. <laughs> Not today. So Yo, let's go. His mama Spode. Let's go Your try to trek spode, back to our bro. home planet. You're not making friends today. How are you doing, Unbeliever? How are you doing there, here, Unbeliever? We never said and... we didn't believe in Spode. Well, oh, I'm welcomed by the Grand Council. That's nice. Now let's hurry up and trek back. We didn't say we didn't believe in Spode, but we don't believe in Spode. I'm not trying <laughs> to. Say, I'm not trying to say we don't believe in Spode. But. Of course, we don't believe in him, but we we don't. We might, maybe, kind of. So they don't kill us. <laughs> let's go back home. Don't you dare say it. No, I'm thinking we just don't communicate with a lot of these people. Because this is a lot of communications we're getting here, and it's going to take us... If we answer all these phone calls, it's going to take us years to get back to the center, maybe? So let's hurry up and go back. Yes. What if you went back and they, and they had taken over your phone calls? I would be very, very sad. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure they haven't taken over the whole galaxy at this point. So what do you do at that point? Our territory... <laughs> You're in our territory. And luckily for you, we have a lot of things on sale. Now that is the best transmission I've got all day. I'm not saying we're gonna come kill you. They're not saying that you don't believe in our religion, so we don't like you. They're saying that we can. We gotta come. go back to those guys. Yeah, we'll go back to them eventually. But looks like we're back at our empire. I don't see any Grox controlled worlds. What about those red ones? That would be the Beanfish Empire. Bean. What kind of name is Beanfish? I don't know. I'm Beanfish. Do you remember what the planet they were attacking was called? It started with a T. I think it was Izamis. Was it Izamis? Let's check our history. No. If you guys are watching this video and you're kind of and you're super angry because you don't remember it. Wait, what? What is what? that? Yeah, what? Looks like they colonized like a Three different times. Wow. Oh no, that was me. <laughs> what? Wait, why does it I say place down colonies on the planet? But I think at the last thing of this video, we're gonna have to check out that planet, and in the next video, we can go to the center of the galaxy. Whoa. So stay in tune for that one. But where's Lakatura? I hope the people there it. didn't die or anything. Because I hope my citizens are okay. Let's check. Don't see them here. Why didn't Glips, Braino Taurus. Keep on to there. Do you see Zomus anywhere? This. Why do I think they'll start with a T? I don't I don't know, but tell me if you see it. Let's see, it wasn't that one. No. Not that one. Not this one. Uh, None of those ones. Not that one. Not that one. Not no. that one. 
I don't know. It doesn't look like they attacked any of our planets. <laughs> Wait, did my allies just get here? Looks like it takes them a while to get across the galaxy. <laughs> We've just been wow. leaving them behind and just been trekking across the galaxy <laughs> and somehow they just barely caught up. Matthew, have you been upgrading your allies or horse? Well, we can't, but usually just they just follow us. Now, where was that guy? Lucky for you, all of our things Let's are... Let's see, what do they have? You violated our territory. Be thankful we're not already at war. And you have blundered into a militarized zone. Commit no further crimes. Standard responses. But looks... Was this our colony? Because this is the closest. Where's that... Incoming transmission Best. from your home world. Gala is being raided by pirates. Well, good thing we installed the... the... Let's see, what's it called? Some kind of turret? The Uber turret. Because those Uber. things can defend against pirates, I'm pretty sure. But pirates. just in case, let's take a look at our home world. Make what sure it's not dead pirates? yet. Like, pirate pirates, like, boats? Like, they're gonna come... Well, not in boats, but they're gonna come... Raiders? They're gonna come and, like, steal your Rain. stuff. So, like, robbers? Yeah, like robbers. It's Showing up, we appreciate... <laughs> I guess in the time it took me to get here, they've... The Uber turret's taken care of it. That's nice. Wow. Oh, well, we can make a small profit here. And I think that's gonna have to end the video here. Sorry we haven't done very much, but... Looks like we got a planet colonized, and we have made war with the Groks. This is the beginning... <sighs> This is the beginning of a very destructive, fun, and and a very scary era. Thank you Let's guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it. If you really loved it, make sure to just, uh, blah, blah, blah. make sure to subscribe. This has been Scorch yeah, Storm here, suck. and I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye, peoples of.